We're going to go straight into set A. So the first exercise in set A I'm going to get you doing is clams with a band. Now why clams? You probably think, well that's a, that's a hip exercise, right? That's a glute exercise. But we're doing it because we need hip strength, hip stability to improve our knee problems. And listen, nine times out of ten, I get patients that are coming with knee problems, it's because they've got weak hips or they've got tight hips or they've got something wrong with their glute activation. Something's going wrong that gives them a bit of poor tracking through the knee. Okay, so into this position here, when you're doing a clam, don't just start going nuts and trying to stretch that band. And make sure, the other thing I don't want you to do is have too big a band. Sometimes these big thick bands for strengthening are too much for activation work. Remember, you're trying to just get this thing going. And if you have the band too hard, you're going to try too hard and compensate and you're just going to use your outer thigh and your TFL and that's just a big waste of time. So with this exercise, remember, we're trying to get glutes, deep lateral rotators sitting in the back of the hip because they're the ones that are going to control your movement when you stand on one leg, keep your knee in alignment, stop that knee pain. So I would start off pushing your two heels together. Okay, now to do that, think about, okay, I'm going to push from on my left side, my right heel push down my left heel, my left heel push up into my right. Sounds pretty simple, but you've really got to think about that for a minute and really push and then you'll feel that start to sort of kick in at the back and as soon as that muscle kicks in you go that's the one I want to work so already I've got some isometric work in the back of the hip and then what I can do you can see my knees come up already so I've actually switched this on and my knees come up so I don't have to think too much about lifting up but what I have to do now is then clench the two buttocks together and push the two knees apart all right so and there's your clam movement so when I come up I push my two heels together Clench my two buttocks together, and there's my stretch. Or oh, there's my exercise, I should say. So I'm getting quite a bit of fatigue already because I've been talking to you. But this movement here, I'm not just thinking about raising my knee up and down. I'm pushing my heels together every rep. I'm clenching my buttock every rep. And what I don't want you to do is just let it go, okay? So keep the tension on the whole time through your sets of 10 or 12 reps. And squeeze, think about squeezing two buttocks together, pushing two heels together, pushing two knees apart then slowly release that, but keep the tension on, and then hit it again, and you've got to think about that every single rep. Now, that's going to get some strengthening. Remember, you're in stage two of the program. You're more about activation than you are about brute strength, so it's more important that you get the activation, get that sort of muscle fatigue, and not have too much tension. So think about all those sort of firing issues um, because that's going to put you in good stead for stage three. Now, while we're doing those clams, like I said, we're trying to control this movement here, which is so important for when you're standing on one leg, when you're playing sport, you're doing exercise, you're running, you can't afford to have the knee roll in. And a lot of times that's why people are getting the patellofemoral pain, or they, because they've got the pain, the glutes are now switched off, and it's like a chicken or egg. You know, why is my knee rolling in? Is it because it's always rolled in, or is it because I've now got pain and I've let it go? Regardless, that clam exercise is going to help you learn how to switch that glute on, the deep rotators to get that knee in a line, okay? So that's your first glute one.